Hey guys, what's up? Uh, if you're like me and you bought the new MacBook Pro 16 or 17, you face the same problem I'm facing every single day. I love the USB-C ports, but I hate them at the same time. Everything you have probably is USB 2 or USB 3 and have probably none in USB-C. And that is the biggest problem when you just buy these one. What I did, I bought this guy over here for a hundred bucks in Amazon. But yesterday, I received a new one for another brand that is 40 bucks. And I'm going to show you guys the difference between both of them in this video today. First thing, you can have the links for Amazon for both items here below. So if you, if you want to buy one of these, the links are here below. Let's talk about features. Both products has exactly the same number of ports with one exception. This little guy over here has two USB-C ports, but they need two USB in the MacBook. So work really well for the new MacBook Pro. 13 or 15 inch, but didn't work if you have a MacBook 12 Retina, for example. This little guy over here has only one USB-C port, right? But you can use in the MacBook 12 Retina. The problem with both items is when you connect in the computer, in this case, you're using the two ports, and in this case, you're using just one port, but the other port over here, it's going to be blocked. But those guys was a little smarter than these guys over here because with the adapter, they sent to you this small USB-C extension cable that you can plug here, connect in your Mac, and you still can use both ports. So if you don't have this second port over here, it doesn't matter because with the extension, the second port in your MacBook Pro is still available for charging or anything you want it. What I like in the design of this product over here, the construction is really good and when you connect in your Mac is like an extension. And this is really good when you are uh, using in a table, when you're in, using in a, in a very hard surface. But if you're using this in your lap, you can damage your MacBook. And if you look in the reviews in Amazon, everybody talks about this and there are some cases that people need to send their Mac to repair, for repair because of this. Because when you're doing this, you start pressing here, you can break the adapter, the, the USB-C hub inside the Mac and you can damage internally the USB-C ports. With a cable, it's, it's just a cable, right? It's just extension cable. You put extension cable, you can damage, but it'll be harder to do it. Both products has HDMI, has memory card reader, two USB 3 ports, and in this case, one USB-C, and in this case, two USB-Cs. Just one of them can be used for charging this guy, so you can use one for charging and the other for any peripheral. And here you can use this for charging if you're using, for example, the 12, uh, the MacBook 12 Retina. You can plug it here and charge. But also you have the extension cord that you can plug here and use the second port in your MacBook to charge. So the biggest thing about this guy is the pricing: 40 bucks versus 100 bucks. Do you think worth 100 bucks? When I bought the MacBook, was the only option available. Like six months ago, so it was a very good deal, I think, right, because I lost everything with my new MacBook and I need to buy 25 adapters for 100 bucks and have everything here, it was a good deal, but now that this one for 40 bucks is available, I get this one every single day. Thank you guys, see you next time, bye bye.